Yes, and as you could see, our garden, as we continue doing our weeding, this is how nice it looks. Everybody can notice and see. This is how good it looks. Yes. Um, except for a few things, we need to put straight is, uh, you don't need to have weeds in your garden, okay? You don't need to have them. You need to have your crops looking nice. You need to have your crops supported up the net that is floating. Okay. This is how it is. This is how it is. And we are having our crops going up. Slowly. But this is how fine the garden looks like after it has been weeded. Okay, we are doing it manually, we are not using any sprays for the weeds or anything else, yeah. Besides, you could do a mix, you see we have some eggplants here, and uh, they are really nice if you have a look at it. It shows you they could do well as well as you are growing your passion fruit aside because you see it's given space and this thing is just starting this this crop is just turning in the middle okay as you could see it's about two feet then two feet from the other one and two feet from this then two feet from this other one so in between you see you can grow eggplants as well tomatoes if you can Look after them very well, yes. Okay, this makes it so interesting as you learn a new tip. Because we have not talked about uh, having crops mixed with uh, our passion fruits before. But uh, as, as I might tell you, in a demonstration farm you can do so many things and you try to show people how to do it. Just like you see, our crops are really going up. And... Um, there are not so many weeds like you have been seeing in the other videos. The rest that, that is not being touched is yet to be touched. But uh, if you see, um, uh, if you see how it looks, it really looks nice. And this is really what everybody or every farmer would really want. Okay, just a farm that looks so nice like this, no weeds, no nothing. Just your crops are growing up and they're going up, and you are enjoying it. Just. Uh, after a few uh, days or something, we are going to show you how it will be done uh, when we are uh, pruning these uh, passion fruits. And uh, we request you to stay subscribed to this channel, like and follow, okay? Like and follow our channel to get the latest updates on how to start up a passion fruit farm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Please subscribe.